time that I, I've ever heard of a bear getting sprayed in the park. So uh, this bear apparently uh, bluffed charged a, a, a young lady that was out hiking by herself. Uh, she startled it. So situational, a startled bear. You know that's a, that's a bad situation. And uh, bluff charged her once. She sprayed it, and uh, the bear disappeared. Didn't cause any trouble, but. Uh, about a week later, same bear. I know it's the same bear because it's collared. They collared a few bears on the opposite side of uh, the, the slide the, uh, where the uh, landslide happened. And one of the bears has been on this side of the landslide for quite some time, so we know it's the same bear. Anyways, that same bear uh, was encountered by more hikers and they threw their backpacks to the bear bad idea. You don't ever throw anything to the bear. Don't give up your fish. Don't give up anything. Don't throw food or anything to distract the bear. What that does is habituates the bear and then he gets the idea that it's okay to approach humans because he's going to get a reward. Um, anyways, that bear tore into the backpacks. I don't know if it got food or not, whatever, but uh, I was worried they were going to have to discipline that bear or haze it or do something to train it to stay away from humans they've had it happen before we've had uh Carilion bear dogs out here that will haze the bears and and uh basically re-habituate them so that they don't mess with people and all that stuff but this time they didn't do anything as far as i know but uh i saw matt and his mom walking well into the park and i was coming from the opposite direction i saw a bear like literally right above them on, on this little edge where they couldn't see it, the bear less than 20 yards from that same bear oh the bear didn't do anything it just sat up eating berries didn't pay them any attention but when i pulled up i turned my bus so all my people could see that bear she looked back and saw that bear so close to where she she got up she lit right up she couldn't believe it she quickly got behind my bus and uh, i just laughed and told her see he's a good boy he didn't bother you but yeah i've been seeing that bear quite a bit this year other situations they've had with them, uh, I guess they had a couple uh, curious cubs that were messing with tents out at Igloo Campground a few years back, and uh, they had to do something about those bears. So they closed the campground down for a while, and they uh, they put tents up, and they put electric fences, electrified fences around the tents. They had car batteries in the tents with solar panels, I think, and uh, basically retrained those bears not to mess with tents. Yeah. Well, I was pretty happy that that bear uh, did not mess with them. And I'm sure they were watching him. He's collared, so they, they know what's going on with that guy. So they've been doing uh, some research on, on the bears. Uh, they were supposed to do some extensive stuff. Uh, they were in the collar, 18 bears, and apparently the weather got bad this spring when they were going to do it. They had a small window of opportunity. And, uh, the weather got bad that week, so they only did collar the bears on the other side of the slide. They didn't get to collar any on this side like they were first going to do. So they're doing some studies on how the traffic, the bus traffic, influence, influences the bears. I mean, I've only thrown the one on this side of the slide so far. Doesn't seem like that traffic's bothering him one bit. I was within 20 yards from another day again. So uh, that bear is just pretty much right now. He's just eating berries like crazy. Like most of the bears, if you see a bear today, there's probably a good chance it's just going to be eating berries continuously, mowing down berries. They'll eat up to 200,000 berries in a single day. 200,000 berries. How do you think I know that? Somebody counted the seed. Oh, yeah. It wasn't me, that's out of my job description. But uh, yeah, I'm sure some biologists made their interns do that dirty work. So yeah, that, they're in a state we call hyperphagia, where they're uh, locked in on berries right now, pretty much 24-7, uh, just continuously eating berries. 